Hours before a fire which ultimately claimed her life, Kumanjai Haywood sent a frantic and tragic series of texts. He's going to kill me tonight. Love you so much. Don't cry for me, she wrote. Three minutes later, he's going to kill me tonight. Love you so much. Always and forever in my heart. On November 5, 2021, 34-year-old Kumanjai Haywood was hiding in the bathroom of a house in the Hidden Valley Town Camp just outside of Alice Springs when her partner, Kumanjai Dixon, poured fuel outside the door before igniting it with a cigarette lighter. The woman, who'd been subjected to his attacks for around 20 years, suffered burns to 90% of her body and died two days later. Kumanjai Dixon also died from his injuries. As the Northern Territory coroner opened the first of four inquests into the deaths of Aboriginal women at the hands of their partners, horrifying details of 40 instances of domestic violence between Ms Haywood and Mr Dixon were laid bare. If it is relentless for us to hear about in court, then imagine how relentless it must have been to endure month after month and year after year. Through six weeks of evidence over the next six months, the Northern Territory coroner will be examining the state of domestic family and sexual violence responses in the Northern Territory, where rates are the highest in the country. Just today, Northern Territory police revealed they'd responded to 597 domestic and family violence call-outs in just the past seven days. Unfortunately, our statistics here um, with regards to homicide um, and Uh, serious harm as a result of domestic family violence are so high in the Territory. But we're certainly doing all that we can uh, to make sure that we have that holistic service provision. Our systems have failed not only the victims and their families, but the systems have failed the individuals working in that environment as well, Judge Armitage said. The inquest continues tomorrow. Melissa McKay, ABC News, Alice Springs.